Hey, sysadmins, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. We're going to build a package to deploy Mozilla's Thunderbird, the email client, using PDQ Deploy. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. Uh, here's the simple way. This will work in free mode because it only requires one step. It's one install step. Uh, going to, first of all, obviously download the source file from Mozilla. Make sure it's the uh, offline installer. You don't want to do any type of online installer. You want to have the whole, notice this is 25 megabytes the whole setup exe. I'm going to simply right click that and say deploy with pdq deploy. It's going to create a package. Notice it's called new package. We'll just call this one Mozilla Thunderbird. Perfect. And uh, step one, since we uh, did this from the actual setup file, it automatically populated that file here, the install file field. Notice that's our uh, Thunderbird setup exe. Now, as always, when, especially when it comes to an EXE, you need to supply a silent parameter. Well, for Firefox, as well as Thunderbird, that's a dash MS. Probably Mozilla silent is what it means. I'm just guessing on that one. Dash MS, this means that uh, it's not going to ask any questions. It's going to uh, perform a typical installation. That's really all you need to do. We'll just hit save. And we'll go ahead and uh, deploy this. I hit Control D there, pardon me. Otherwise, you'd hit the deploy button. Getting ahead of myself. Uh, we'll just type in a couple. Of, we'll type in Cosmo for our computer instead of selecting it from Active Directory or, or somewhere else. And hit deploy. Obviously, you can deploy this to as many targets as you want, uh, as long as they're Windows machines and uh, that you have administrative access to them. So you see that we're now running. Oh, perfect. Now Cosmo has Thunderbird. That's the easy way, dash ms for the silent. Now, there is a package in the package library, if you have access to it, that, uh, that you can install or uh, download the latest version of Thunderbird. Notice we've got a little, bit, a little bit more of a complex package. Both of them will work. We do take steps in step one to kill existing Thunderbird sessions. It's kind of important for when it comes to Mozilla products. A uh, couple other steps to remove the uh, the uh, Mozilla maintenance service. There's our install Thunderbird. And notice we're not doing the dash MS, because another way of installing Thunderbird, just like with its uh, uh, web, the web browser of Firefox, you can use an INI file. The INI file we've listed is right here. We've built this. I'm going to open it up. You have to have an install section. That's the install in the brackets. And then we actually specify some customizations. We don't want the quick launch shortcut. We don't want a desktop shortcut and we don't want the maintenance service installed. So we had those set to false. And then the flag, the parameter to call that, is slash INI equals, then you have to have the literal path to the INI file. So in this case, percent CD percent, that's a, that's a, a Windows variable that's compiled at runtime. It just means current directory. Um, notice we have added that Thunderbird in additional files here. So it's in the same directory as the exe. Calling that, we don't need the MS, and it does some customizations for us. That's how you do it. All right. Enjoy. Rock on. I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.